what's happening guys so we're here at the I don't know if any of you guys remember but July I think it was 26th there was nine miners that got trapped underground due to uh, the Q Creek mine which is we are that's where we're at here today the Q Creek mine it uh, flooded and we had nine miners that were trapped underground and um, it of course now uh, emergency responders kicked in to try to try to save these nine lives this here is the airlock part of plan B which was to be used to maintain the air pocket if the water couldn't be pumped out designed with the help of the US Navy I remember when this happened guys this was this went national this was big news when this happened I mean it was all over CNN Fox News all the local news side pipe there this was the rescue shaft number two it started when the rescue shaft number one broke and it stopped at a hundred and feet 150 feet into the ground that's where that stopped pretty big old deal man nobody lost their lives through this I'm assuming this is a, a pump or something it has has this cable. I'm sure they fed that cable down into the hole. Yeah. Yeah, that was something, man. Can you imagine the ground flooding in a mine? Here's my wife looking bored. Huh? Did you get that? Get what? There's a bird there. There's a what? It's like something on that boulder. On this boulder? Yeah. Something is wrong. Oh. Yeah, no, I didn't get this. Monument for life. The symbol of the red oak here is, of course, faith. The nine evergreens are to represent miners, but in a larger sense, all of us. We all must sometimes bind ourselves together as the nine did when the leaves of faith have fallen like that of the oak in autumn. When we long for the shelter of the oak to protect us from the cold and dark, we must realize that in the coldest winter of our lives, or the darkest mine, when there seems to be no life in the oak, his roots run deep, his limbs outstretched, calling us to him, and in his shadow, he will all, we will all be reborn in spring. That's coming from the Arnold family. So that's what this is all about. The red oak. The nine evergreens, which is, of course, these evergreen pines. Walk right past that. <laughs> What is this? Q Creek. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is or what that's even all about. It doesn't really say anything. 
says Q Creek 9 for 9. 9 for 9.org, so there must be a website. <clears throat> this right here is the actual rescue shaft for the evacuation of the nine miners July 28th 2002 240 feet into the ground who could you imagine Let's see if I can get a shot inside there that's how big the shaft was that brought the men up in the capsule And this right here, this little thing right there, is the six inch air shaft drill, July 24th, 2002, 240 feet into the ground, which went into the Q Creek mine. And of course, that is what provided them with oxygen. That's something. Uh, this was the uh, shaft right here that nine miners were brought up in a capsule and I can remember staying up all night when this was happening uh, they didn't know if any was if they all were still alive or if they were they were dead but they sent the capsule down they used some kind of a system I guess uh, I'm not sure what the system was so that the miners could let them know that they were still alive. But um, I'm surprised they don't have the American flag up. I don't know this place here. I don't know if there's anything inside. I have no idea. It's, it's not like they got signs up. But this is uh, this is it. This is the whole location right here. I remember seeing all this on national news. And I mean there was there was a ton of people here. A lot of people. You had local news. You had uh, international national it was a big deal so all nine of those finders all were brought up safely that's pretty amazing 240 feet in the ground that's that's pretty that's pretty deep did you, did you hear what i was saying about the pines yeah those nine pines represent the nine miners the nine miners and that oak in the middle represents life. Oh. But yeah, so I don't know if any of you guys remember this taking place um, in 2002, but it was a pretty big story.